Hi everyone, I've got a question for you. Is the thrift store your happy place? My husband has a pretty stressful job, so when he has a particularly stressful day, he'll head over to the thrift store, which is his new happy place. He's checking out all the baskets uh, for Longa Burger. Uh, I think I've taught him well. <laughs> He's looking at everything that looks like it could potentially be L Longa Burger. He's also learned to go through the baggies and inspect them because uh, we have gotten lucky on a few of those baggies and found some really cool stuff. Now he's looking through the plate section um, and he's looking for transferware, which um, I love. I love English transferware and he knows it, so he's on the lookout now.
my husband is a work in progress. Um, he He's learning how to film, um, but he forgets that when he's looking at something high up, to film high up and show what he's looking at. He is getting better, though. He was looking at these fruit dishes because they look very similar to a an Italian pottery bowl that I have uh, that I purchased many years ago, and it was huge. It, it well, it is huge. Um, and this, I, I kind of wish he would have picked up um, because it's a two 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 fifth um, plate, which I. Th think is a good brand but I, I like that it was for Thanksgiving so it, it would have been nice and he was looking at this reticulated plate um, because he knows that I sometimes pick those up uh, if they're good quality um, good name brand I don't see a name brand on this one and the um, the transfer or the design is not all that exciting anyway. This little snowman plate was cute. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, Mackenzie Childs, but it's not, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't know that it was a, that good of a name brand. Um, I worry about those because uh, sometimes the glazing chips off really easily. So my husband has a fascination with milk glass, um, and it's because that's what he grew up with. Um, my understanding with milk glass is that if it has a blue cast on the rim, uh, that it's not particularly the better one to pick up. You want it to be solid uh, milk glass, if that makes sense. I think the more interesting pieces is what you want to look for uh, and potentially pick up. Uh, so not your everyday glasses, I suppose, or but you want to look for the nicer plates or vases and stuff like that. I He's looking at this because uh, he knows that I have picked up Noritake in the past. Um, this particular design is pretty, but it's kind of plain. Uh, so it's not one that I go for, but I have picked up uh, Noritake uh, pieces.
I liked that tree jar. Um, I'm sad that it didn't have the lid anywhere to be found, but uh, I like that those would be kind of fun for the holidays. To, you know, for putting marshmallows and stuff in. And so he's scanning the shelves, which I love. He's He's got this eagle eye action going. Um, he did find, look at this, right out of nowhere, he picked up this o Ota Otagiri cup. And look at the price on it. It's 25 cents. 25 cents. It was amazing. And now he's looking to see if it has a matching friend. He was really inspecting this Delft blue um, well, it looks like a Delft blue. I don't know if it actually is. It's a Dutch looking clog, but and it looks like it might be Delft blue, but it didn't have a, a logo. So I wasn't quite sure about it, and it's pretty big. I kind of liked this ivy crock. Um, I think you could use it as a planter or just for home decor, but it, it was cute. And I really liked this lemon crock. I love the transfer wear on it. It's just pretty uh, to have out on your counter or uh, for utensils, whatever. But um, they wanted $10 for that. And then I saw this cookie jar, which is very similar to that, um, but they wanted $20 for that. 
which I'm pretty sure is pretty much retail price. These Ray Dunn glasses are fun, but they wanted pretty much, I think it was exactly the same price that they sold at Marshall's for. And they wanted the same price at, at uh, Goodwill. So I asked my husband why he didn't get these and he said that he looked them up and there were tons of them on eBay and none of them had sold and uh, some were selling for as low as $3. Goodwill wanted $3 a piece. So we're about ready to retire my big uh, serving Italian serving bowl. Uh, so we're on the lookout for a big a big serving bowl, but that one wasn't it.
those are pretty decor pieces and they're in my colors but um, they're new and uh, not much resale value on those I can't believe how many of these dessert casserole and pie dishes there are. They would have been so cool, depending on the price, uh, to pick them all up and just make some really delicious desserts for my friends and family and give them away for the holidays. And except that they were like $8 a piece and there were a total of 10 of them. So $80 just for the dishes. I don't think that would have been a good plan.
my husband's fighting with this plate and we're editing and we're just now realizing that those are Mickey plates and we love Mickey we love Disneyland um, old Disneyland and this is just heartbreaking because we're realizing there were three Mickey plates sitting right there and he's fighting with this little saucer <laughs> that uh, yeah he didn't even pick up We're at the tiniest Goodwill we've ever been to here, uh, and their their hard goods section is just tiny. It's, I think, three shelves, and so I'm looking at these little bunnies, which I thought were really cute. Um, I know they're new, but they would have made cute Easter decor, and also I'm looking at these trays that are interesting looking they're they're like for egg trays I it, they kind of look like um, very interesting looking however they're um, 
I think they were priced more than what they sold for originally. This to store was sad looking. Um, I, I saw that cake plate, which was the only thing that I actually, you know, kind of liked. It was very plain though. Um, and I don't have the space for it. But other than that, everything was so picked over. They really didn't have very much of anything. And what they did have, they were selling for a lot. So we didn't pick up anything, I don't think. Now on that same trip, um, we went to a different store where we found these two items. This is from England, it's made in England, and it is, let's see what it says. I can't quite make that out. I'll have to remove the price. It was 99 cents, great price, and it, See if I can remove that price. My manicure said, don't do this. <laughs> um, and let's see. It says English Ironstone Tableware, England. And so I think this is a cup, a, a handless cup. Um, but I loved the scene. Look at how beautiful that is. And, you know, even if we don't use it for its intended purpose, I'm going to put some greenery in there or maybe a, a, a bouquet of flowers or something uh, and have it around my home as decor. I just thought that is so beautiful and it looks brand new. Um, so I will wash it very well and use it um, around my home. I love it. And this is now going to be a family heirloom because um, it's the Mayflower in Plymouth Harbor. And it is beautiful. And aside from it being blue and white and absolutely beautiful, it um, it's basically, uh, Okay, how can I explain it? My husband's family actually did come over on the Mayflower. So, um, whoa, it is, I'm trying to do this very carefully and it, I'm not doing a very good job of it, but it's the Mayflower in Plymouth Harbor and it gives you the information there, the Pilgrim Fathers, where, where are they and um, just and it's also let's see Old English Staffordshire England uh, Staff Staffordshire where um, Alfred Meakin and it is made in England and I was just thrilled to find this it is beautiful it's going to be um, prominent in our home for um, you know, Thanksgiving or um, for 4th of July, uh, it all works. It's just beautiful. So that will be at our home. And 
those were two things and then I walked into another thrift store a different one we've never been to before and look what I found look what I found I can't believe it, it I just walked right in and ran right to it it was just sitting there and I thought oh my goodness is there anything wrong with it and I took the tape and lifted it up and look at this uh, it has the seal it's perfectly fine it looks brand new um, is that a, a smudge it's, a, it's a, a little smudge there so maybe it was used but very gingerly I, I don't think it was actually really used it was maybe in the kitchen somewhere but I mean look it's it's pretty clean in there well maybe a little bit of schmutz but not too bad at all it it really does look very new I, I lifted up the lid to make sure that there were no chips or cracks or anything and it is in exceptionally good condition um, it is just beautiful and I'm going to put the tape back on it just because I'm going to be lifting it and upside down I don't want to have an accident but there it is and I mean as you can see even the bottom is relatively not too bad and it was selling for ten dollars ten dollars I couldn't believe it I just thought okay this is so cool um, I was so excited to find this and uh, I will be keeping it for a little bit, but if you are interested in it, um, shoot me an offer. I have, um, I have the, my email down below, and I think if we decide to price it, it'll be right up here. And uh, let me know if you're interested, but this is so cool. I love the longer burger look. It, it is so cool. And the only thing that would make it better if it, if it were blue design, but I'm happy with the red. I can use it for um, Christmas time. It'll be so cool to have out. Thank you so much for watching our thrifting adventures. Please watch for the next thrifting video where we take you along with us to four thrift stores in Fresno, California.